Alright guys, I am starting a new video. I discovered something that may help a lot of VR players in addition to IL-2 especially. So, um, one of the things I discovered is that unless you're under sampling or over sampling your base VR settings, you are not getting any of the NIS or FSR sampling other than the sharpening can help a little bit so we were seeing the effects of the sharpening but we were not getting the FSR or NIS um, because the settings weren't set correctly so the first thing we need to find out is if your GPU CPU um, limited meaning that the GPU number is bigger than the CPU number so it's holding there and it's causing micro screen freezes you'll see um, lag uh, other issues in the game it just creates overall poor quality uh, play and I'm going to show you, A, you should be able to do enabling the overlay. Uh, you just go in, you just uh, enable experimental settings, and, and then you just go in and turn on the FPS to advanced, and you'll be able to see these two settings. So I'm going to ask for help that people do a little bit of homework and report back. Um, I'm working on a new project to create a simple setup for people with multiple different computer setup so I want to know your CPU your GPU so here's how we're gonna do it if you want to help and this will help us create an, a system for IL-2 people joining up with VR and they can look and say oh I got an AMD uh, Ryzen 9 at 12 core and I got a, this much RAM and I got this video card okay so based on that then I should be able to go through and do the settings correct and then I'm running whatever driver so they can also keep, you know, oh, this was a previous driver. Things may have changed, right? So it, we will keep up to, to that. So I listed it off. You can find this with uh, CPU-Z. Just get all your basic information there. List this, uh, your what current driver you're up to, and then your NVIDIA control panel. So in with this, the way it happened, um, I ended up having to turn off everything in the control panel, guys. It was causing stuttering and it was limiting my CPU to GPU. So by using that and, and, and going through and fine tuning things, not just based on a visual aspect and a, and a hunch, I was using the actual program to uh, narrow it down. Now, how did this all happen? Well, part of his new information came out. I was making a new video on helping new players when I helped myself. And I discovered all about this. They had just posted this. This is new information. I've read through this page multiple times, never saw anything about this. And here's the part that really caught my eye. As I was reading this, I was like, okay, I understand how to figure this out, such as upscaling and foveated rendering. So the foveated guys were already getting this effect, and they would have seen this improvement right away. But those of us who didn't have foveated rendering, I, IL2 community, we weren't really upscaling or downscaling unless you had an older system. And then you were actually getting the benefit, which was huge for those older cards. So here's what it did for my 3080 Ti with 12 gigs of RAM. Um, I went ahead and just lowered my setting down by 5%, which I can show in, in, in the uh, here. So this lowered my graphics on the OR height and or width. Now I didn't do this in here. I did it in Toolkit, it automatically applies it in here. So the OR settings from Toolkit are, are coming back, it's like reading, oh, what is the goggles telling us? The goggles are telling us this number, this number. That's why I never told you guys to mess with those numbers, I just said make sure they're the same. Well, now I'm undersampling it, <coughs> but that's not a problem, okay? It didn't affect the visuals at all. In fact, everything just got better. And I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So the next thing is I have smoothing turned off in the game so you can see that 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 setting is there i am running the five as of today the, this driver number 0.98 there um and everything else you guys can see here so those are all laid out and i want you to go ahead and see okay when you're looking at the overlay when you're doing this one of the things we want to look at is they're talking about upscaling well under the upscaling just so you guys understand that i'm not just making stuff up here uh, this is why it could affect everybody. Upscaling fact, factor set to 100% is no upscaling. But there is some benefit that we could be adjusting the sharpening. So you're getting some benefits just from the sharpening, but note, 
it's while it's a very low cost that even within the upscaling is there is no upscaling so it looks better within the techniques but you weren't getting the full effect because you didn't change your upscale you didn't you didn't um, change any of that so a value of above 100% ratio right read this the higher the value the lower the application rendering resolution for example 200% is half all right a value below 100% represents the ratio application rendering over the targeted display resolution. This is how upscaling factors with specifically previously versions of NIS Scaler. The lower the value, the lower the application rendering resolution. For example, 50%, da da da. All right. So, and then you can, there's two methods you can do, and it's just which is your preference. And then it talks about this here. All right. So, how did that play out in the game? Well, I'll tell you, it got rid of stuttering. It dropped, uh, I was able to see my GPU going from uh, numbers in the 30s and 40s uh, uh, down to point, you know, six or seven, eight, maybe 15, 20 milliseconds tops on a really stressful, and the 20 ones are very brief. They're like, you know, you're down on top of the biggest city and, and you're getting hammered with smoke and stuff. So you'll see it jump a little there but the gpu was always pulling the load uh not pull before and now the cpu is doing it so it eliminated a lot of stuttering the planes are smoother in the air etc etc so i'm going to pause this part of the video and i'm going to go into the game and just show you the settings real quick in game so we're starting the second half of the video <coughs> i want to go through the control panel and basically give you guys a quick rundown of how this works um, but before we do that, I actually want to get out of this screen because it's this is making it look garbage. Um, right now, I am running the Quick Mission Builder Norman in D Day, 1944. Put a uh, C47, 6,500 uh, meters escape mode as an ace, so he doesn't like do something stupid and crash, and then. P doesn't matter what status this is, but you just pick yourself 51. Um, you know, I'm using gyro sight and stuff because I wanted to hit the FPS a little harder. And then four A8s as the second one, and I use those as target practice also to just see planes moving around me, clarity, etc. Um, and then we make a run down to Laharve, and I run around the city to see how the overall FPS uh, hits and the overall uh, smoothness of the game so those are the that's the test i do every time since this map has come out because this map hits the game the hardest as far as gameplay goes uh, it hasn't probably been optimized yet so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the game and then i'll blow it back up so we can see what's going on and then we'll go through the control panel settings and what effect you should be really looking for um, as far as the numbers dropping. I was getting numbers in 40s or 50s, I would have to say. Ugh, I hate this, going through this paneling. Get this loaded. All right. All right, so let me see which one's better. That's, let me blow it up just so we can see it. All right, so you can see here, um, I'm running about 12 milliseconds on the CPU. The render, this is the app going through, so what the oh, open work time is doing, and versus Steam or anything else would have been in there, it's much lower. And then the GPUs with Steam, you're actually doing this on another one because you're going to Windows Mixed Reality here. Um, and then what's on the GPU. So the number here I had was much smaller originally, and this number was much higher. So here's what we did to fix it. Um, we're going to go into the menu, and I just want to turn the heading just so we can see uh, clean. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to turn up the this. I want it to be dark so we can see it. I probably could just yeah, it's pretty. You can read it. All right, so that's better. Um, and I want to turn this too long so we can talk. Okay, so make sure your expert settings are on. That's main. Um, any of this I just did is just for the video, guys. It's not uh, normal settings I use. 
And then I have turned on the override resolution, which I set to the default settings for the HP Reverb G2. Everything else is here preference wise. Um, inputs, I'm, in, I'm using about 15% and I'll explain that because I started noticing more bumping and that got rid of it. Um, turned out it was my heartbeat. Okay, so you just want overlay to advance so you can get the information you're going to need. Set it to FSR or NIS. It doesn't work on either, you know, only those two. It doesn't work on CSA. Uh, this is if you're get real fancy. I haven't gotten there yet, but you can actually offset on certain goggles. Pretty much the Pimaxes and stuff are having to do that. So I just had, I started at 99%, didn't do anything because I wanted to see one click would do anything. It wasn't really that great. Got way down to 95%. I might even go a little bit higher or lower. I'll be playing with this just as I fine tune it. But I did get a great uh, sweet spot right here. And the visuals didn't drop because I am upscaling again. I had the sharpness all the way up to 100%. Um, I only lowered it because it was causing in the very distance. You can almost see it in here. Uh, that was happening. So I basically started lowering it down until I started seeing this stuff here disappear in the background, which is probably around 50%, you know, 60%. Some two people gotten down to 30. It's all again a preference. So I've been anywhere from here up, but it, it really shows like that was kind of distorting it more than it really would because of the like, stretching of it. But um, I'm keeping it at 90 just for now because I'm not done with my tests. All right, so this part again is preference. You're gonna see if you see some uh, breaking up in the distance and you don't like all that sparkles, that'll help with that. Um, with it off, th this gets faster. So the sparkling is just like, like a static. And with it all on, it, it just calms it down to where, like you, you have to be paused and staring at it to even notice that stuff. You're not gonna notice it flying around. It's just building reflections and you're busy shooting stuff, hopefully, or bombing it. All right, so. Experimental mode, I'm going to talk about this real quick. So I have to go back and turn off um, the timeout real quick here because I actually just exit menu, I think, does it. Yeah, okay. All right, so I want to blow this up. The CPU right now, this is with the turbo mode off. You see is lower number in the uh, than the GPU, but I have CPU headroom. So it's just loading and I've played with it both ways. You can see the fluctuation in the FPS, even mainly because I'm recording, but also because we're just sitting here, uh, not doing a whole lot. You know, if you move around, you're gonna see um, things changing and changing. So a lot of you said, oh, you know, I see some in there. You can see even in my dials. I mean, this is what I'm pretty much seeing. I mean, it's much clearer, of course, because I'm in the goggles. And then you can see the airplanes, that's about I want icons on. I don't think I can do anything in game because I'd have to switch out. But anyway, um, so that's what we're looking at now. When you turn the turbo mode on, it does say in the in the in the in the information that you will get kind of a, a misread on the numbers. But for this game, I haven't seen that to be true as far as that the playability uh, speaks for itself. Um, so when I turn it back on. Oh, I meant to hit exit menu, which is just open. All right, um, you can see already the CPU is now pulling its weight and the GPU has disappeared. Now, I don't think that's a perfect answer and that's why I'm asking some help from the testing. Maybe I got to drop it down lower. Maybe I got to turn down some more graphic settings, you know, whatever it takes to get the smoothest play and then start to add. Um, then once I get, uh, you know, more CPU legs than the GPU and the numbers are way off, like I'm, I'm always holding it like plus eight on the CPU and I got uh, three or four on the GPU, then I start adding, you know, adding in graphics, upping the, upping the settings, adding more anti-aliasing, so on. So that's what we're looking to do. Playability, guys, butter. <laughs> Like everything I've done before to make you guys excited, this is the next level. And I hope you guys enjoy it for the holiday and share it with everybody. Please help me in the research. I will need to know, um, you know, your settings, your CPU, your GPU, your graphic settings, your ATI panel settings. I recommend you ATI guys turn everything off. Turn everything off in the panel. Then go in and do this and then start adding panel items one at a time back see what it does to the CPU GPU timing because if you start just slapping stuff on you're not you're gonna slow things down and you're gonna get a, a higher uh, ping 
between the the response between the goggles and the and the game and that's not a good experience in any aspect of it um I wish I had all of this when I first got into VR. I would have just been sitting back in Easy Street right now and, and, and loving the game. So hopefully this helps other uh, guys out there. I know the affiliated rendering guys, you just got dumb luck and, and fell into it uh, because it was just the defaults <laughs> by the settings. And uh, the rest of us who weren't using affiliated rendering were behind the curve. And I hope this has helped everyone. All right, guys.